Hey, what's up, guys? It is SMG for Life Zero One just coming in with this video again of some Crisis 3 for you guys. And as you can see here, it looks totally epic. I'm playing in 1080p if you're wondering, playing in 1080p, capturing in 720p at 60 frames per second because it's a lot more better, especially with this game. And I can see the difference, I can see the quality, how much more better it is. So, um, basically why I recorded this gameplay it's not like the best gameplay or anything like that the reason why I recorded it was because I was testing out the Ava Media live game HD to see if I could actually play in 1080p and be able to record in 720p at, si at 60 frames per second the thing is when you're recording a game like this that's fast motion and like there's a lot of movement that goes on in the game uh, you can't really capture using 30 frames per second and like I've kind of realized that uh, due to playing in 1080p and trying to record in 1080p as well to my SSD and um, Yeah, it, it it looks really good and and the thing is I'm previewing it on Sony Vegas and it looks really awesome and um, It's not the best gameplay. I'm getting a few kills here and there and I'm basically just testing out the weapon I've been using the weapon for a while now uh, for about like five six games um, so I'm testing the weapon out as well as testing out recording so any kind of PC recording that relates to a shooting game or anything like that, I would recommend using 720 your 720p settings instead of 1080p. You're going to be able to get a better quality video with better frame rate, even though YouTube downscales the frame rate to 30 FPS, it still will have the 60 FPS coding to it, so it still it wouldn't have ghosting, which is when you're usually ghosting is when you're up upgrading a like a 30 frames per second video to a 60 frames per second video and that I figured out from my old videos that I used to do on my uh, Blackmagic Intensity Pro. I have to admit the Blackmagic Intensity Pro was an epic recording device. One thing I just didn't understand about it is I don't know what happened to it uh, when I used to rec I used to record it a lot with it so uh, I, I could record like 50 minute gameplays and I'll be fine there would be no problems no dropped frames or anything I'll be able to edit the video fine perfectly and then just all of a sudden the videos uh, when I'm recording them they'll either uh, it was when I started recording uh, gameplay for WWE um, I think it was WWE 13 when I started recording videos for that the audio became unsynced so that's kind of the problem that I had with Blackmagic I don't know if it was because of the actual capturing device itself or because of the hard drive I was running uh, I'm not too sure but if I got my Blackmagic Intensity Pro back from my friend and I'll test it on my PC as, as I get it back and and a reason for actually owning one of those is actually a good thing to have if you're gonna do like live streams and stuff I've, I actually talked to my friend he's gonna be doing a computer build soon so uh, he, I don't know what he's gonna be either getting AMD or he's gonna be getting a um, a uh, Intel and what I am thinking of doing is maybe um, taking my like he'll he'll have his computer and either doing a live stream of like building the PC using my Canon or we could just film it uh, but if I went to live stream I would have to use the the 650D that I have and plug that into the Blackmagic Intensity Pro and then use it off that but one thing I was thinking of doing is putting the Ava Media, since I'm like opening computers like crazy now, uh, putting the Ava Media Live Game HD into my old, uh, my old uh, dual core Dell PC. And dual core, I don't know if it's good for Ava Media, but uh, I could use that to record. But the thing is, I have a, a laptop hard drive in that computer and I don't have an SSD in there. So recording will be a bit difficult. So one thing I was kind of thinking to do, which is, just coming to mind now is actually getting the uh, getting a small SSD like a 60 gig or 120 gig for that that computer but the thing is it doesn't transfer at 6 gigabits per second it would probably transfer at a lower rate and if you saw that kill there that was some crazy ass shit and I was shooting the guy and he just moved back and shot me and I died uh, and and yeah meleeing again in this game I really hate it uh, it simply sucks on how you melee in this game, and it just doesn't give you a hit when you melee, when I when I melee basically. So um, yeah, I, what I was watching a few videos today, uh, and I kind of wanted to. Um, I think this is what I'm going to do in the future. 
uh, when I am I'm gonna be building another PC obviously but I might be building a Intel Intel core either a core i7 or a core i5 PC uh, and I'm gonna be doing a um, Hackintosh build so if I'm ever gonna do that I'm gonna I'm gonna film it for you guys because I kind of know how to do it and I've been watching videos on how you do it uh, but the only problem is is that you need specific parts especially when it comes to Mac OS uh, and and if I do build a a um, a uh, Mac PC I'm gonna try and have Mac on it and also I have like a maybe a, a small SSD that m runs Windows so I'd have two kind of two kind of operating systems for the uh, for the uh, computer so I would be able to do both use Windows and I'll be able to use Mac which is like epic to have because I use Windows now and I've always wanted to kind of have a Mac computer and I think in 2009 it was kind of at that point I was kind of coming close to actually buying a Mac uh, I wanted an iMac but I couldn't afford it at the time it was like £1,000 I was close to getting enough money to buy it but the thing is if I bought that I'd blow like a thousand pound on a computer that was going to be upgraded in the next year which was 2010 and um, I wouldn't be able to do half of the stuff I do now with like gaming and stuff like that I, I built this computer from scratch basically this computer now is um, all this well this computer now is basically I paid for everything in this computer my dad paid for the uh, the graphics card uh, my previous graphics card which is the old one which is the 69 68 70 but now I've paid for my own one so basically this computer is mine my own I paid for everything myself even I don't even have a job and I'm able to do all this stuff and the reason why I'm able to do this stuff is because of all you guys and I just want to give you guys like a big shout out and say like all you peeps on YouTube you're just like the best people ever uh, even all the haters who just come in and start ranting about whatever they rant about you guys are still good you're still coming in to see the videos you're still here and um, yeah I have to admit now I'm running this 7950 uh, when I'm when I'm building the Hackintosh I'm gonna have to go a different route and take on an Nvidia graphics card I haven't owned an Nvidia graphics card before but Nvidia seems to be like one of those graphics cards that are good for editing so uh, that's going to be epic. So I think if I get that Mac Hackintosh build, um, it will cost me about a thousand pound. But I'll have a better computer than an iMac. Uh, not a better computer than a Mac Pro because Mac, obviously the Mac Pro is like two grand and it's like super expensive and it's super high spec as well. But I'd have like a sixty, either a six sixty Ti or if there's something new and like even better. Uh, I'd probably get like a 680 or 670, something like that. I don't want to spend too much money, but I want to spend enough money to where the computer is good enough to be able to do what I want to do with it. So Mac is a good operating system for like, let's say, just being an operating system. Like Windows is good for everything else, like playing games and stuff like that. Because um, with Windows, it's, it's cu more customizable compared to a, um, uh, compared to a Windows actually no wait windows is more customizable to compare to mac because mac is more uh user friendly and like simple and easy to use uh so mac i I've, i used mac for about two years two three years now i used it at college i used it at school and i kind of wanted one it's just that i didn't get a chance real opportunity to buy one so i'm gonna try and build my own mac so how does that sound leave a comment down below telling me how what does that sound like it it does take a while to do it takes about three four hours to like set up and stuff but yeah i'll have ssds i'll have um graphics card i have motherboard cpu everything uh but running really like fine and high and and what i'll do is i'll probably wow i'll probably water cool the system as well not with like liquid cooling like with all them tubes and shit i'll just do like normal normal um water cooling uh when i'm when actually one thing i want to say is that sometimes when i'm playing i do get that jolt of lag and i don't know what's that what's that from i, I can tell it's kind of from cpu or graphics but i'm not too sure so any of you guys know let me know in the dis comments down below because seriously, I, it's just like that little jolt you actually see in this video. So uh, that's what I'm wondering. And in this video, you don't have the highlights. And in the previous video, I forgot to 
uh, unmute the volume on the on Sony Vegas so it kind of went I, I didn't have the audio for it so I'm sorry about that but yeah I'll see you guys in another video this video is ending now I didn't do too well I got like I don't even know what I got our team won but I don't know what score I got I can't remember it was like four and something okay I got I got 11 for 17 not bad um but yeah I'll see you guys in another video peace out peeps